Hey, what's up? This is Enrique, Milwaukee O's Screen Printing T-Shirt Booming, and today we're going to be printing a shirt order for an organization called Dream.org. This is a an organization that's so much great work in our community. Uh, we're going to be printing um, their logo on the front. They have an event coming up for a cohort that they're going to be running this year. Um, and then the sponsorship logo on the back, they are sponsored by the NBA Foundation. Uh, so when I print for national organizations, it's always fun to do because you never know um, who you're going to be printing for and like what organizations are sponsoring these these um, great orgs. So um, it's super fun. I get to uh, print a two color on the front, a one color on the back. Um, and I bought some new inks. So I did buy these Rapid Cure inks. Uh, so I'm going to be testing them out. I tried them before and from what I used... Um, in the past, last week and the week before, um, I had some samples, so they worked really well. So I bought bigger um, gallons, and I'm just going to be using different colors of these inks, and I want to see how they cure, and how they last on the shirt, and how easy they are to print. Um, and if this order goes by quick, and I have no mistakes, and everything works the way I want it to work, I think I'm going to be using this ink more often. So I ordered them from ScreenPrinting.com. Um, I believe that's the site. Let me just double check because I've just been like kind of going back and forth with new vendors because Grime Co, like the local vendor or the local um, warehouse, has just been giving me a hard time. I just want to check my email really quick just to make sure because I've been working with Screen Printing Direct as well. So I just want to make sure it's the right website so I can give you the right information. Okay, so it was Screen Printing Direct, uh, ScreenPrintingDirect.com. So, um, yeah, go to that website and just check out these inks. These are the Rapid Cure. Um, I recommend them. They are similar to the same price as the, similar to the Wilflex inks that I've been buying. Um, so I think I'm going to just go with this just because the shipping process is super easy, the ordering process is super easy, and the inks are great. Um, so yeah, let's get into the order. Alright, so we're going to be printing on these shirts. The customer ordered a bunch of these, so we're going to do a two color on the front and the one color white ink on the back. So we are using a new shirt that we don't usually use, so it is the... Uh, Toltex, um, heavyweight, and these, um, they have a great feel, they're pretty thick, when you wash them they kind of keep their shape, um, price isn't too much different from uh, Gillen Soft Style or even um, m and or Canvas Bella, like it's, they're very similar so um, this is a good shirt, um, and they have different color options so sometimes Gillen Soft Style doesn't have what you need, and then Canvas Bella has the colors that you need, but they're a little bit more expensive, especially when you do big orders. Um, if the customer's looking for a great quality shirt, but they're ordering like 500 shirts, if you can save 50 cents on 500, you're saving $250, and then that means you're making more. So these are more than Gillen Soft Style, but they cost less than Canvas Bella. So instead of ordering Canvas Bella, I like the quality of these better than Canvas Bella for like what the customer wants. And um, they cost a little less so then I get to save money. And since this is a great organization and I have this like relationship built with them and I want to provide a better service for them, um, I was able to give them a discount. And by giving them a discount, they feel more appreciative. They, they, you know, they're more appreciative of me doing that so not only do they want to keep working with me but um, they place more orders because they know they're gonna get deals so um, I'm gonna get started on this so I got the first shirt on the press already um, I got the screen down I just gotta put some ink and I'm gonna run a test print
All right, now that the first coat is already done on the four shirts, we hit them with um, All right, so we got the backs of the shirts all printed and now we're gonna be printing on the fronts. The fronts, again, are the two color. Uh, we're gonna hit it with white and then a orange. So, uh, I already got the um, strings already prepped. That's the white one. And then this is the orange. Just some text, cool little design. Um, and it's gonna stick out really well on the green shirt, so. Well, we got the ink on there, so now we're gonna do the first print. All right, so obviously I'm gonna have to do another coat, but um, that's the first coat. Looks pretty good. I'm going to flash it and then um, I will uh, hit it with the second one. So I know I've been talking a lot um, about Grimco, or whatever it's called, which used to be Midwest. Um, even though I'm like the, my past experience um, and my current experience isn't the best experience, I'm not trying to be biased when I'm like recommending different um, like vendors, I'm not sponsored, so like I'm just I'm just like recommending what's working for me. And as a small business, um, I need the best, you know, and most like supportive companies. Even though they're not like like actually like working with me directly, but anybody can get the same service that I'm getting through Stream Printing Direct. But they can't get that through Grimco. It, it doesn't seem like they want to work with small businesses. They want to work with big businesses, more established companies, and. To me, that just isn't fair, especially because they're not offering like better pricing. Like, if they were offering better pricing, like I would understand and I would like try to continue to work with them. But they really aren't doing anything above and beyond. So it's like, why would I go out of my way to support somebody who doesn't really care about me? And Screen Print Direct, even though they don't know me, they're treating everybody that way um, with great customer service. So I'm going to continue to work with them. The sad thing that I am, the thing I'm sad about is this comes from Grimco, which is like super amazing. So I might um, have to look for a different adhesive spray. I love the spray just because it's, it's just easy, fast to use, and it does what I need it to do. So we'll see. All right, so the first coat is um, dry. Now we're gonna be printing the second coat. All right, came out great, check it out.
Yeah, these are coming out good. I love the colors, you know. Sponsored by the NBA Foundation. Alright, so we got the first coat of the second color printed. We just have to hit it with another pass. And then once the second pass is done, we'll throw it to the conveyor dryer. One thing that I like about uh, my business is um, since I was able to pick a niche for screen printing, I was able to kind of find my customer base early and uh, stuck to that. And since I believe in what we're doing, um, when my customers come in, so today a customer came in from a Victory Gardens initiative. That's the name of their organization. So they do a lot of great work in our community, um, teaching urban farming um, in the inner cities, um, getting young black and brown youth involved in that and transforming neighborhoods and beautifying communities with these um, beautiful art and um, environmentalist projects. Um, it, it makes me really happy being able to provide them a service knowing that they're providing our neighborhoods and our communities such a great service uh, by making the quality of life better for the residents um, and even though I'm not actually in those gardens but I even I am actually because I do volunteer and we bring our young interns there to help volunteer but even though I'm not doing that on a daily basis I'm able to have an impact because when you see these young people uh, wear the shirts that we printed um, and young people are printing those shirts as well. Um, you're seeing them in the city and then it's, it's helping the initiative and their cause move forward. So it's, it's just a gift and, and a dream that keeps on giving. So I'm blessed to be able to have this shop and this business. And one recommendation I might have uh, for any other screen printers out there is that if you're a skateboarder, you know, start printing skate shirts, start printing brands, skate brands, and do stuff like that. Like, try to stay in the field that you, um, like, are passionate about and you love. So, like, if you're into, like, music, do band shirts. You know, yeah, you might uh, veer off and to do other stuff. A lot of people do that. You know, a lot of people talk about how they, um, Oh, started out printing band shirts and now they're printing for AT&T or like just something random um, Which can get boring, you know, you might get lost in the sauce You know, sometimes people they do find their niche so they might find screen printing um, As a tool to push their band forward But then after years and years of printing band shirts, they might be doing something that they don't necessarily love So I mean that's the only one downside but the positive is just like you get to if you want to be a musician or in a band or whatever whatever you want to do every organization every business needs shirts so if you're into something just stick to that find the customers that you connect with and you're similar to and you'll love your job um, if you love food print shirts for restaurants you know you get to try their food they'll give you free food sometimes you bring them in take photos and and just cool, you know, just a cool thing to do. And it makes your work not feel like work. So we're all searching freedom because money doesn't give us freedom. Um, but it helps, you know, it allows us to, to have more time and stuff like that. But if you're working all the time, that money that you're making, you're not able to spend. So it's uh, very important that you think about your, your life and 
not always chase the money you know um, and don't look at other people's business um, as comparison you know some other screen printers might be doing bigger orders and they might have bigger machines and you know that that's all cool and it can be motivating but at the same time it could hurt your feelings because you're not at that level but one thing to to keep in mind is like this is your business this is your life and nobody lives the same experience so just just stick to what you got going and always strive to do better you know just keep grinding drink a lot of coffee that's what i do but we're gonna get back to this order